Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Heather Forgan of StampWithNelly.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in the UK. I love stamping up kits and uh, I recently did uh, a video showing this kit. Um, and one of the things that I love about the kits is that even at the end, when you've completed the kit, you've still got whatever stamp set came in that kit. I'm going to use this one. And you will have whichever ink spot came in the kit. And today I want to show you an idea for using those ink spots as stamps to make a fun background for your card. So the only colour of card that I have used is basic white. So I've got a basic white card base, I have another layer and then I've got the one that I'm going to stamp with my ink spots and I'm going to show you how to make it look like you've got a coordinating layer around about as well. So first things first, this is going to get messy so I'm going to bring in another little sheet just now. Now, some of these have been used more than others. I haven't even taken the top off properly. So some of them will be lighter and some of them will be quite dark. Now you might notice that I've got, that one's really quite light and that one's a lot darker and it totally depends, I'm just going to start there, on how long you leave that, how much pressure you put on it. And the great thing about this is you don't have any stamps to clean. You can just pop them on like so. And as I say, a little bit more pressure, a little less pressure, whatever you wish. On there and just build up a pattern. This is where I find it difficult. I can't do random. <laughs> I end up going, no, there's a definite pattern there. That was supposed to be random, but it's not. But yes, yeah, so just turning them, um, swapping out the colours, totally as you wish. Just try and fill That piece need more red, way more red than that. I'll go down to the red one. Let me just put a bit on there, like so. Then I can have more red. Ew, I guess they just put their finger in one of the ink spots. <laughs> disaster zone. And I'll go for another Bermuda Bay in here. And a little bit more there, why not? There we go. I have my fun background and very inky fingers. Um, so bear with me a moment, I'll try and remove some of that with my trusty hand gel. Now, I didn't do a great job of removing the ink from my fingers, but I did manage to splash some uh, hand gel around about the place as well. So um, good thing about that is if you do get it on your card, then just leave it. The alcohol will, will just evaporate and it'll be fine. So that's my top layer. I have got a blank layer and I'm going to use one of them. <laughs> to just simply do that. Okay, and then that will give you the impression Bermuda B card layer there. Now what I would say is definitely leave that 
for a moment or two to dry because you will get ink on your hands otherwise. So I'm going to tidy up a little bit, leave that to dry for a few moments and then I will be back just to assemble my card. Okay, so my layers are almost dry. I'm not going to get covered in ink now. They're still a little bit damp, but I don't want to uh, spend all day making this card. So simply use your glue of choice to layer these up. As you could see it was a little bit darker in that corner but by the time you put that on it really doesn't um it's not not noticeable at all so um just adding go to this layer which obviously if you wanted you could pop up with dimensionals there we are and Whilst I was tidying up, I took the opportunity just to mount up the You Are Amazing onto a scrap of white. Let me just bring in my snips. So this stamp set that I used was from the um, paper pumpkin that I used in one of my recent videos, Expressions in Colour. Um, in the UK, we have just had another one of the paper pumpkins released, which is a box of hope. So um, I'll put a link to that one in my blog post as well, if you want to take a look at that. I'm just using mini Stampin' Dimensionals because that's just what I had handy. You'll probably find um, that you collect extra uh, dimensionals from kits. You do tend to get a few more than you actually need for your projects. So there you go. Using a stamp set from a kit. Using stamping spots from a kit. Now you can also buy a set of um, stamping spots. Um, the, it's a, a collection that does have Real Red and um, Daffodil Delight. It doesn't have Bermuda Bay, but I think it's got Coastal Cabana. Um, so I'll, I'll put a link to that set of ink spots um, in case you don't do kits, but you would like to give this ink spot um, technique a little try. I'll put a link to my blog post and to the products that I've used in the description bar below. If you've enjoyed today's tutorial, using um, these supplies left over from a kit um, then please give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel then i'd love you to click on that subscribe button if you're a returning viewer then thank you so much until the next time take care bye bye